بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على من من شقة الأسرار وفلقة الأنوار وفي ارتقاة الحقار Let's imagine that you are a slave working in a home of a master who is a noble man and very generous. And he gives you more than what you expect. And he has opened for you everything to take whatever you want from the house, to eat, to dress, uh, as in the Sharia, the recommendations of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to treat the slave the same way we treat ourselves, our children. So we wear the same clothes, we ask them to do things possible, or we help them always, we honor them and so on. However, would the slave, feeling so comfortable, go and sit in his master's chair and tell him, I am the master here? No, that would be very wrong. Would he challenge his master? No. Would he go and uh, decide in the house against his master's will? No. Would he disobey the instructions of his master? No, because he knows that he is given everything he wanted, everything he opts for is given. So why would he disobey? That is our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we don't understand it. And Imam al-Shaykh Ali al-Jamal rahimahullah ta'ala says, if you want to reach the ubudiyah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then be good abd to his servants on the face of the earth. That is to say, humble yourself. Humble yourself for the true man of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Humble yourself for all people in need. Then you will reach a training course. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will receive you as a true abd. You need to free yourself from the bondage of this dunya to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the real freedom. Not freedom of speech or freedom of opinion or freedom of this or that. The real freedom is freedom from bondage, from slavery to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Ta'isa abdu al-dinar in a sound hadith. Ta'isa abdu al-dirham, Ta'isa abdu al-khamisa, Ta'isa wa antakas, wa idha shika fa lantakash. Perished is he a servant of gold, dinar. Perished is he the servant of dirham, silver. Perished is he the servant of a piece of clothes. Perished is he, and he may not recover. Ta'isa wa antakas wa idha shika fa lantakash. He may not recover. Even if a thorn gets in his finger, sticks in his finger, he may not recover. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam makes this dua against people who are servants of this dunya. We need to free ourselves from this dunya to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, the best way for us to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to go through the means of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He is our guide in our journey to Allah. There is no way for us to become believers on a doctrinal level but through believing in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is no way for us to apply the five pillars of Islam and every other ruling of this Sharia ah without referring to his detailed explanations and elaborations on the Sharia, ah, on the pillars of Islam. There is no way for us to be perfect in our behavior, but through applying his Sunnah in our lives. There is no way for us to survive in our lives and be entitled to some food and some drinks and finish our lives with some mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without being in need of Him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. In this time in which we need more and more than ever before 
The beautiful example of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, especially towards non-Muslims in these societies, when people are carrying guns and putting explosives and considering everyone in these societies an enemy, we need in this difficult time the example of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who said to his people, Oh Allah, guide my people, they don't know. They are not aware of the message I'm bringing. If we don't have mercy to people, how can we call them to Allah? If we do not love them on a human level, how can we care about them and how can we save them? The people of this country, dear brothers and sisters, are not our enemies because they're not fighting us. The people of this country, brothers and sisters, are in need of help. And the way to help them is by showing them the truth. You cannot convince anyone of the truth if you don't hold fast to it. Al Imam Al Tabari in his history, and Imam Abu Nuaym in his book Hilyatul Awliya, and Ibn Hisham in his book Al Sira, Ibn Sa'd in his book Al Tabaqat, they all narrate that Al Sayyida Amina, the mother of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, when she conceived of him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. She saw light which opened for her eyesight the way to see the palaces of Sham in Busra. The impact of the conception of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. More than this, the actual concrete light the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and its impact on people and how they noticed his light. Imam Tirmidhi narrates in his Jami'ah, Ibn Majah in his Sunan, Imam Ahmad in his Musnad, and Imam Ibn Hibban in his Sahih narrates the following hadith on the authority of Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu ta'ala He says, Lama دخل الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام المدينة أضاء من المدينة كل شيء فلما قبض عليه الصلاة والسلام أظلم من المدينة كل شيء When the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم entered المدينة المنورة everything in المدينة was lit اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد بحر أنوارك ومدن أسرارك ولسان حجتك وعروس مملكتك وإمام حضرتك وطراز ملكك وخزائن رحمتك وطريق شريعتك المتلذذ بتوحيدك إنسان عين وَالسَّبَبِ فِي كُلِّ مَوْجُودٍ